Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. Which of the structure are not contained within the uh, rectus sheet? That means which is not present within the uh, rectus sheet. So first of all, we have to see the, some picture regarding the uh, rectus sheet and the content of the uh, rectus sheet. Then that will be very easy for us to find out which is not content of the rectus sheet sheet so here the options options are pyramidalis superior epigastric artery inferior epigastric vein internal iliac artery and rectus abdominis so let's see the sum of the picture so it is the picture of the anterior abdominal wall and the thorax here we can see and we know that the anterior abdominal wall it has total eight layers most outside is skin and then superficial fascia they are the skin and superficial fascia and after the superficial fascia we can see the rectus sheet present on either side of the midline here so here we can see this is the uh, rectus sheet this is one side and there is another side of the rectus sheet so the rectus sheet it is a fascial component which is located on either side of the midline and mid, uh, in the midline they form the linear alba so this is the rectus sheet and we can see the rectus sheet it extends at the level of the zephyr process and up to this pubic tubercle so in this picture we can see the layers of the rectus sheet as removed here this is the rectus sheet and we can see the upper part of the rectus sheet is removed also the lower part of the rectus sheet and this removed and we can see the rectus sheet it has both the anterior wall and the posterior wall here and after separating the anterior wall and rectus muscle we can see this is the posterior sheet of the or posterior layer of the rectus sheet and this posterior layer is not completed that means at this level the posterior layer is terminated and we can see this rectus sheet it encircles this muscle and this muscle is the rectus abdominis muscle so one of the muscle of the anterior chest wall anterior abdominal wall which is the rectus abdominis muscle this rectus abdominis muscle located within the rectus sheet then we can see the vessel which going within the rectus sheet here we can see here this is the superior epigastric vessel that means the superior epigastric artery and vein they passes through this rectus sheet and here in the lower part we can see this is the inferior epigastric vessels so superior epigastric vessels and inferior epigastric vessels they lies within this rectus sheet and in this picture we can see the another muscle here in the lower part and it attached to this lower bone this is the pubic tubercle and this muscle is the pyramidalis muscle so one muscle is the rectus abdominis muscle and second one is the pyramidalis muscle so rectus abdominis muscle and pyramidalis muscle they are located within this rectus sheet here we can see this is the rectus sheet and rectus abdominis muscle and pyramidalis muscle they are located within this rectus sheet and here we can see the vessel here we can see the inferior epigastric artery and here the superior epigastric artery and the this inferior epigastric artery it arises from the external carotid artery and they lies within this rectus sheet with the rectus abdominis muscle and in this picture we can see this is the midline z process and here lower foot the pubic tubercle and pubic symphysis and the midline is is the linear alba and just lateral to the linear alba this is a facial structure actually this is the posterior layer of the rectus sheet because the anterior layer of the rectus sheet and rectus abdominis muscle are removed in this first picture so we can see the vessel and the nervous structure present within this 
rectus sheet in the upper part we can see the superior epigastric artery the superior epigastric artery is branched from the internal thoracic artery on the other hand we can see the inferior epigastric artery it is branched from the external iliac artery so within the rectus sheet first of all the vessels superior inferior, uh, superior epigastric artery inferior epigastric artery also the superior epigastric vein and inferior epigastric vein who is present within this rectus sheet then we can see the different type of nerve present here we can see the lower six intercostal nerve they also located within this rectus sheet so the superior epigastric vessels inferior epigastric vessels and lower six intercostal nerve actually this lower five intercostal and subcostal they are located within the rectus sheet and two muscles one is the rectus abdominis muscle and another one is the pyramidalis muscle and we can see the posterior layer of the rectus sheet it usually don't present whole length at the level of the arcuate line here the posterior layer of the rectus sheet is terminated and here in the second picture we can see this is the rectus sheet and we can see the rectus sheet it gives some tendinous attachment within the rectus abdominis muscle in these three places here you can see this place this place and this place so these three places the rectus sheet it provides the tendinous attachment within the with the rectus abdominis muscle and in the right side we can see the content of this rectus abdominis muscle superior epigastric vessels that means superior epigastric vein and superior epigastric nerve then uh, sorry vein then inferior epigastric artery and inferior epigastric vein then lower five intercostal and subcostal nerve then rectus abdominis and the pyramidalis muscle so they are the content of the rectus sheet and here we can see a picture in this picture we can see this is the abdominal aorta and abdominal aorta terminates into right common iliac vein and left uh, right common iliac artery and left common iliac artery and this common iliac artery then it dividing into the external iliac artery and internal iliac artery and we can see this external and internal iliac artery they are located very close to the vertebra so they are lies in the posterior abdominal wall they are not located in the anterior abdominal wall but we know the rectus sheet it lies in the anterior abdominal wall so here we can see this is the internal iliac artery here this is the internal iliac artery and here this is the external iliac artery so this internal iliac artery it is not content of the rectus sheet because the internal iliac artery it lies posteriorly but we know the rectus sheet it lies in the anterior abdominal wall so our answer is the internal iliac artery because internal iliac artery it is not located within the uh, rectus sheet but other structures such as here we can see the pyramidal muscle it lies in the lower part of the rectus sheet then we can see the superior uh, epigastric artery and inferior epigastric vein they also present and rectus abdominis it also present so the internal iliac artery it is not content of the rectus sheet thank you all